What's up, YouTubers? This is your boy, Big Mentor Fan 12, coming to you with another video game review. And this time, I'm reviewing the game Hellfire, which is a obscure shoot 'em up that was released in the arcades, and they later ported this to the Sega Genesis and PC. And the plot of the game is that a mysterious black matter called Black Nebula appeared out of nowhere, and it pretty much started engulfing different stars in a particular galaxy that a man was trying to colonize. And it's come to find out that a robotic dictator called Supermech, Super Mech pretty much created the Black Nebula, and a pilot named Captain uh, Lynn, Lynn Craria, uh, I'm not sure of the pronunciation, but um, this particular pilot is on a mission to stop both the Black Nebula and Captain and the super mesh I'm not trying to, I'm calling the, the the antagonist captain for no reason even though it's not the name but anyway the pilot is, is on a mission to stop him you know what I'm saying now the game has six, six stages in it where you fight different enemies like you will find in R-Type and Gradius but it seems like it's more similar to R-Type than it is um, Gradius but but what separates this game from other space shooter modes like Gradius and R type is that you're able to change how you shoot your weapons by by pressing a button if you if the um ship is purple and, and it's like through the colors and if the um ship is purple then the ship shoots shoots forward. If the color of the ship is yellow, it allows the ship to shoot shoot backwards. And if it's blue, um, it was the, the ship would shoot diagonally in, in four directions and everything. And if it shoot, and if it's green, it'll shoot um, twin wep twin uh, weapons and stuff. And, and one thing about it is that each um, color that that the ship has can be upgraded to can be upgraded to to a level six and, and everything. So. I don't know if this is if it's possible, but I but the best thing to do is um have all six colors to be to be leveled up to to be uh, upgraded to level six and everything by the time you pretty much face the final boss. Now Hellfire has a total of six bosses and um, three mini bosses. One of them is on the is in the first stage, while the other two are in the third stage. And of course, with any game, regardless of genre, the um, each boss pretty much requires a um pretty much a strategy and everything. And there are um pretty much power ups that allows you to upgrade each um each um. Um, part each um weapon that you use when you change colors. Now, as far as the graphics and, and level designs are, are concerned, they are pretty good and everything with nice color palettes and um expressive and stuff. Now, the gameplay and, and controls are pretty good too. What I what I like is that you're able to switch weapons by um changing colors by by a simple press of the button, and the power ups allow you to upgrade to the uh, to level six in in, uh, in each situation where you where you uh, change the color. Now the the uh, soundtrack it's 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 decent, you know what I'm saying, but it's not the best uh, soundtrack that I ever heard when you, when you like compare it to say other shooters like a uh, Gradius or R Type or any other uh, space shooter that was released by by this by the time Hellfire came out, you know. Uh, um, it, but overall, this is a, this is a pretty good um shoot 'em up, you know what I'm saying. But I and I would re pretty much recommend it to anybody who is a retro gamer, somebody who owns a Genesis, and um anybody who does um let's plays on a YouTube channel, you know what I'm saying, as far as gaming is concerned. But the thing is that. It's, this is pretty much a rare, obscure game, and because of that, I, it's gonna be like really hard to find and, and pretty expensive. So if you 
got the money for it, if you happen to see a physical copy, I say go ahead and get it. You know what I'm saying? As far as the score is concerned, I definitely give it an 8 out of 10. You know, the only gripe I do have is that this is one of the harder space shoot 'em ups and everything. So other than that, I don't, I don't really have no major gripes with Hellfire. You know what I'm saying? With that being said, if you got had a, got an, an opportunity to play this particular game, you can mention it in the comment section of the video. If you like my review of Hellfire, don't hesitate to click the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe. This is your boy, Big Metroid Fan 12, signing off.